Hey everybody, let's go over a classical physics demonstration called the ballistic pendulum. So make sure to go over this video maybe a couple of times so that you really understand it. I practically guarantee I'll ask something about this on the exam. So it kind of goes like this. Imagine you have a pendulum and then for this example, let's make the pendulum a slender bar. And let's say we know the mass and the length. Okay, and then we have a bullet, let's say over here, and we fire it at the bar. So let's say we know the mass of the bullet. Uh, let's see, I'll call this M1 for the bullet, mass M2 for the bar, like that. Okay, and this has some initial velocity. And then let's say it hits the pendulum here at the bottom. Okay, let me just draw it more like a cartoon over here. Okay, so it's heading toward the bar. It hits the bar, and let's say it sticks. So they stick together. So that's a perfectly inelastic collision. And then it's gonna start swinging this way, right? And then it swings up to some angle here that we measure. Okay, so let's say we, we know because we measured um, the mass of the bullet, the mass of the bar, the length of the bar, um, and this angle, how high it swings. Let's solve for the initial velocity of the bullet because this is kind of investigating the ballistics. So we want to know how fast was the bullet going. And we can get that information by measuring how high the pendulum swings. Okay, so what's happening here physically? There are two phenomena. Two phenomena. Number one, there's a collision here. Number two, the pendulum swings. Okay, so let's do that one at a time for the collision. Of all the formulas in the world that you know, what happens here? During the collision, what is conserved? Angular momentum. Okay, so let me write. So for the collision, angular momentum is conserved. Angular momentum before, after, right? Initial, final. Okay, so what is the angular momentum before the collision? Immediately before the collision, the bullet is like right here before it hits the pendulum, going this fast. Okay, so what's the angular momentum of the pendulum? Zero, right? It's not even moving. So all of the angular momentum is in the bullet. So what is the angular momentum of the bullet? It depends on about what point. So let's pick a point somewhere. How about the hinge? I'll just call, let's say, I'll call the hinge point A. The hinge at point A, right? The hinge of the pendulum. So the angular momentum of the bullet about point A is r cross p okay and let's say this is going horizontally so then these are just 90 degrees so then it's this length l cross this but then they're 90 degrees so m1 v initial okay so this is the angular momentum of the bullet about point a and that's it what's the angular momentum after the collision. Okay, after the collision, it's going, it's rotating about point A up here with this much angular velocity and with some amount of moment of inertia. And it is I omega. So that's it right here. What is the moment of inertia? So it is, let's calculate it right now. Okay, so 
let's call this equation one. And then equation two, the moment of inertia about point A, the hinge, is what is the moment of inertia of a slender bar about its own center of mass? And then you just look in the table, it is 1 12th m l squared. This is about the center of mass. But we want the moment of inertia about point A. So from here to here, we have to use the parallel axis theorem, which means it's extra, right? Plus extra. How much extra? The mass of the bar times the distance between these two parallel axes squared. So in this example here to here is L over two. So L over two squared. Okay, and then let's not forget the bullet. So the moment of inertia of the bullet about point A is just a single point. So just m r squared, where, where this distance r is L. Okay, so this is the moment of inertia of the pendulum with the bullet stuck to it all about point A. And that goes right here. Okay, now, after that, different phenomenon, the pendulum swings from down here to up here. So let's assume there's no friction in the hinge. So that means energy is conserved. So when it swings up, let's call this our third equation, energy is conserved. Okay, so how much energy initially? So the whole thing is swinging with this much angular velocity. So there's kinetic energy, and I'll say one half I omega squared, and it's rotating about A. So this will be the moment of inertia about point A, which we know right here. So we got this. So, okay, so that's the rotational kinetic energy about point A. How much gravitational potential energy? Depends where we pick the datum. So how about, I mean, you can pick the datum anywhere. You can pick it here, 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 whichever you want. So how about I'll pick the datum here. Okay, so what's the gravitational potential energy of the pendulum? It's right here, the center of mass, right? So that's below the datum. So it would be minus m2g l over 2. Okay, now what about the bullet? It's here below the datum, minus m1 g l. Okay, and then that's it. Now final, so this is initial, now final. At its highest point, it's at rest, so the kinetic energy would be zero. So it's just gravitational potential energy. Okay, so for the pendulum, the center of mass is here. How far is that below the datum? That would be negative m2 g. And then how far is that? L over 2 cosine theta. All right, and then the bullet is here, also below the datum. How much? Minus m1 g L cosine theta. So here we go. We have these three equations. Let's figure out what we know and what we don't know. Okay, so we know all of this, so that's known. We don't know this angular velocity. We don't know the initial velocity of the bullet. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so, right, so if you look at it, you can get this value that's known. And then among equations one and three, 
right? You can solve this for omega and then take that answer and plug it in right here. And then you can solve for the initial velocity of the bullet. Okay, so go over this problem until you really get it. And then let me know if you have questions and I'll see you in the next video.